How you doing guys? I uh, just wanted to make a new video um, just describing uh, the issues that I've had with the boat since I've bought it and um, and uh, how I've got around them. Um, I've written a list so it might be a little bit laborious but I would suggest if you sort of look in the, new, in the market for this sort of boat or a new boat um, there's some good points on here. Um, most of them are um, issues but you can use it as a thing to check uh, to make sure you don't get those issues when you pick up a new boat or along those lines so you can you can um, turn it into a positive if you if you do wish so so the first one i'm going to go on about is uh window leaks um this uh starboard side window i've had a quite a few leaks here you can see uh the corrosion is sort of starting to happen um so i had missing sealing up the top here on the outside and um I managed to track that down with the hose, blast some water through, and uh, we tracked that one down, and it was just some um, sealant missing, so I just squirted some sicker in there. And um, also had around the bottom here, which I made a video of, uh, the silicon separating from the window. And uh, yeah, the water was just ingressing real slow and dripping, so it was a real hard one to track down. Um, but we, uh, well, I cut out the, uh, the sicker, and then, uh, Put some new stuff in there so that one was a while to track that one down but that one up there was quite a heavy flow so we tracked that one down pretty quick so that's the window um oh and also finding that the uh silicon is starting to separate from this powder coating it's uh i don't know that didn't rough up the surface or whatnot to get it to adhere properly um the other one i'll go around the back here these are uh, opti grip pads now um i had all the corners lifting and um basically yeah they were all, all the corners rolling both sides of transom and uh around here where the pillar is just here um i'll be able to see there yeah, they're all coming up um it's quite a hot climate i live in so uh I mean, it's no excuse for it, but those are peeling. Um, so I've been sending out new ones to replace those. So I'll get to those. But um, something to be aware of is that they've told me this is the best uh, OctiGrip um, pads that they've got. But um, yeah, obviously prone to lifting from fuel and hydraulic oil and all that sort of stuff uh, where water sits. So that's something to be wary of whether you want them or not. All right, I'll get back up in the boat. I should have written this uh, a, bit, a bit more in line so I didn't have to uh, jump all over the place. Uh, the next one was the, the fold, fold down seat in the back here. When you can see it's folded up, got a good gap here. Uh, sorry, a thin gap here and a big gap here. So this side here has got a mud guard, nylon washer, normal washer and uh, doesn't hit the seat. This one here, uh, the fixing, where are we, fuck's sake. Fixing there, that's sort of recessed in. No mudguard washer, no nylon, and uh, if I did put one on, it uh, hits the seat, as you can see. So um, that one I haven't had a fix for, waiting from videos from the dealer from Stabby to get back to me how to fix it. They actually sent me a new seat, had the exact same problem. Um, this one I've tried to drill out the holes a bit bigger to get it leveled up, but uh, no cigar and it, it still does the job, but it's just, I'm pretty anal, so that's something I've picked up. Yep, the side's perfect. No issues there. So, uh, plenty of clearance. So happy with that one. Uh, what are we going next? All right, all right. Windscreen motor. I had the uh, old back plate of it, the inspection plate crack. So that's actually been replaced, um, which is which is good of them because they're quite new. Um, and the pentagraph arm, I'll. Uh, 
if you've got a boat like this that's got an arm that you can slide the the uh, wiper up and down um, basically it's got little tabs on it uh, they come loose all the time so um, only, I haven't had to come up with a fix for that but um, as it's been getting older I guess the arms sort of get corroded in place and it doesn't want to slide so that's alright I haven't had too many drones with it now but that was an issue with it um, fine because it's a curved windscreen the um, blade wears out awful quick so I have put like a bit of duct in over to keep the sun off it and stuff but I think it's just um, one of those things uh, that it's sort of fighting fighting its way across the curve and um, it's doing a few dry wipes because it's on a quite, quite a high speed it's either full or nothing so um, you may be able to get a, a timer delay circuit in there that slows it down or um, just keeping it polished or uh, a bit of rain X on there helps a lot um, next one is going to be hard to see but you can only sort of see it with a headlight headlamp um, and I've tried to get it off quite a bit but basically all these pillars um, window frames are all this sort of powder coated stuff on the top half inside and outside it's got uh, overspray on it um, the fix was from what I was told to uh, use some sort of buffing compound and some pads and stuff like that haven't found anyone locally to to do it so um, I sort of covered it up with a bit of wax but uh, yeah basically I got suggested to do it myself and um, yeah I'm no paint polish guru so wasn't going to attempt that and, and to be honest now um, with the watermarks and dust and crap don't really notice it but it'd be nice if it like that's how it came so it didn't happen um, at my uh, at my uh, bloody house or anything like that. That's how it came. So um, yeah, um, I've sort of come to terms with it. Uh, the next one, oh, that was a big drama. I'll jump out the back of the boat. There is the uh, the steering ram. Um, I used to have an ultra flex unit on this boat and uh basically it was leaking the port side every time um i got it replaced where is it yeah i got it replaced um the, f the first time i drove up north it started leaking so i got the seal replaced then uh they leaked again so then we got the unit replaced and then the unit leaked um so then we got a high drive uh, commander unit fitted and no drama, so I think they're a bit more harder wearing. So um, that kept me out of water for a long time. When I uh, brought the boat up, it had to sit high and dry for a while. Um, other thing I had was the uh, hydraulic lines. They were king tier at these fittings and a few other places. Um, so I got the um, the dealer to get uh sorry the dealer up north to uh replace those and um so far no dramas um yeah the other thing i found was i had a shitload of swarf inside all these bunks i mean that's understandable um because it's hard to get to and you know as the boat planes and stuff like that it's going to roll all over the place but the thing that wasn't very acceptable was that um in the bilge area she was choppers full of swarf under here and in all these cracks and crevices and um, under the dash where they cut all the instruments out there was swarf all over the electronic connections and stuff like that I'll show you behind the dash it's uh but yeah there's a lot going on there so you don't want it that's the last thing you want is swarf and shit like that everywhere so um I ended up cleaning all that out pretty thoroughly. Found a few other nasties, which I'll tell you about later. But, um, yeah, something to look out for. All right, on to the transducers. So, um, yeah, found the transducers. They were mounted um, with no 
no uh, insulating pads. So it was stainless on Alley. So even though it only been in the water for a little while, just uh, running it in and stuff, she already started to corrode. So I um, wasn't too happy about that. So I ended up putting a bit of uh, five mil perspex behind each uh, transducer. And uh, the other thing I had was uh, these grommets uh, where the transducers uh, go into. Well, there was no grommets there. It was just a hole sawed hole, not filed or anything, pretty rough. And uh, yeah, the cables were chafed already, so I wasn't too happy about that. But so far, no interference with those. Yeah, the next one I had was uh, cables on the back of switches. I had um, a couple of uh, the illumination natives earthen out on the frame, which could cause electrolysis. And uh, yeah, had a few of the switches not actually working, so uh, quality control wasn't too flash on, on that one. Um, next one was uh, anchor rope not tied off. So um, that's pretty self explanatory, but what I found was uh, that that shackle there had no rope tied to it. There was no shackle there. Um, the rope was just sitting hairy, so if you were a little bit less attentive, um, you might have put your anchor down and she would have went walkies. I haven't got that tied off at the moment either, so here's me uh, calling the pot black. Alright. Uh, so. That's that one. Next one was uh, no isolation between dissimilar metals. Uh, that was pretty rough. So um, we're, we're somewhere I can explain. Uh, so this is uh, obviously aluminium frame, stainless fixing. Uh, so you know, like. That would probably be ideal if there was some uh, Tefiol Allen underneath, there wasn't. So I went ahead and put nylon washers under each fixing, um, all under the dash, uh, all over the shop really. Uh, I'll show you some other spots. Uh, under the seat rails. Um, uh, isolation switches. Battery brackets, uh, all sorts. I can just go on. I've got receipts there for hundred odd uh, nylock washers and three tubes of Tef gel. Um, I could go on about that for ages, but basically, get one of these boats. Double check all your bloody fixings um, because yeah, you don't want that. Uh, that uh, galvanic corrosion, electrolysis or whatever you want to call it. Um, had it appear on a few fixings um, before I'd actually got to them. Alright. Uh, no isolation. Uh, so I had contamination um, issues which was uh, up in the top here where they drilled through for the heading sensor. Uh, there was a broken drill bit sitting in here. So yeah not likely to cause major issue there but if it had to work its way down in the pillar and where it sits wet could have easily burn a hole through the hole so um there was one there there was another one sitting in in the gap here and there was bits of copper and stuff like that in the in the bilge area so that's something to be wary of all you need is a bit of water sitting there and after a while if you don't clean it properly you know, you'll get a hole so Glad I found those pretty early on. Um, I had loose loose bolts, so I had uh, pretty major bolts on this boat, which was the the, uh, the mounting bolts for the for the engine to the transom. I had one side that was torqued up, sealed up properly. The other side was pretty well hand tight with a wrench, um, so I had to go and seal them up properly and. Uh, talk them up worth checking anyway but i'm glad i found that before i actually took the boat out uh capstan winch plate so um i've been told this is a isn't a normal 
But um, basically that plate there, if you put a straight edge on it, she's pretty pretty much warped like a banana. And hence why the, uh, the silicon's not even uh, adhered properly. So um, I've been told that this is decorative edge and that they've actually sealed the sealant underneath so water shouldn't penetrate. But it is a place where salt can build up and... Uh, yeah, cause yourself some drama. So I've got that in writing, five year warranty on the boat, but it's not ideal. And um, that was a, what I was saying about the arm there on the windscreen wiper, that can adjust in and out, and that was uh, self-adjusting. It's been okay for the for a while now. Um, and that's how I sort of try to keep the the blade from disintegrating in the field of sun, so. Um, what else was it? Oh yeah, so the plate above the uh, cap sandwich there, I was looking at putting in a uh, vent of some sort. And bloody hell, how dirty is my boat? I haven't been out in ages, but yeah, I was looking at putting in a vent and uh, yeah, it's that way out of tolerance. So being told that's um, part and parcel of having a handcrafted boat. But these things seem, seem a bit more uh, precise than that. So I thought that was a bit um, poo, but uh, there's no vent there. I've ended up putting a couple up the top to uh, cool the cab down a bit. Um, boat board, yeah, same sort of stuff as that capstan winch. Um, I've had the silicon lift all around it, so we actually got it removed and it didn't take any tools. It was just a matter of uh, grabbing the edge and uh, pulling it all the way along. And, um, and the mechanic ended up just uh, lifting this up. Was told there was sealant under it, but there wasn't. And uh, yeah, just put put some sealant down as a gasket and just bolt it in. So there's a bit of a gap here and there, but it only just collects bait, bait and crud and stuff like that. So it's not a huge problem on the scheme of things. Um, but you know, it did look nice. Wasn't expecting it to uh, disintegrate so quickly. Um, oh, the Simrad, so. I've got this, um, this uh, sounder uh, fitted, factory fitted, so I had the longer warranty. Now, around the edges here, I'm trying to get this basket off. Uh, the border was all bulged out, and actually behind all the fixings, the border was all cracked out, so um, they ended up having to replace the thing. And uh, after um, the mechanic pulled it out, he, he told me that the uh, where they'd cut the cutout for it, there was actually uh, just a bare alley edge. And because it wouldn't have been a problem if this was a bare alley plate, but the problem was that um, being powder coated, as soon as you cut a bare edge, you want to seal that up from the elements otherwise it will start to uh, fissure and crack and your dash will just fall to pieces so um, he suggested that I uh, paint around the edges so um, yeah we end up removing it and paint around the edges and tidied it all up and uh, this one actually got the casket behind it but the one that uh, got taken out from the factory that had no gasket behind it either so probably why the border cracked in the first place um quite a expensive bit of gear so someone would have got a smack on the hand for that one i reckon um uh what else we got uh bear with me all right the next one was that a breather line that runs from uh the tank underneath out to the uh starboard side and um basically where that went in underneath where the shelves are and that i'll see if i can get to it uh, she was on a right angle so she was pretty kinked uh, you may just see it there with the five washers end up doing a loop de loop so it doesn't uh, um, go on such an angle but it's that bit of hose there end up getting replaced um, so that was one of the ones and then uh, the other one which were, wasn't the uh, manufacturer's problem wasn't was more of a fit out third party for problem well a potential problem that we fixed was that um well, this cover got fitted which is bloody beautiful but the thing was that all these stay puts got fitted 
they're nylon, so that's perfect, but all the fixings were stainless with no sort of isolant on them. Um, I end up drilling them all out and putting in stainless, uh, sorry, aluminium rivets with a bit of Tef gel on there or thicker. Um, sort of bed them in so nothing gets behind them and uh, causes any further problems. Um, so that was a good one to get onto. Uh, there was also a whole uh, walk around and show you there was uh, some uh, some I think they what are they called pops or whatever press studs that they uh, hold the cover on on the outside uh, that were basically just stainless touch and alley so I've ended up taking them all off drilling them out putting aluminium rivets in there backing them with nylon uh, washers but that also sort of backs onto my uh, lack of isolation thing but that wasn't from the manufacturer let's say that um other thing i found was these um cup holders they are sort of just held down with um some sort of double-sided tape they've all lifted throughout the time um i've ended up going and sick of flexing them all in i've made a few videos of that uh so yeah there's a few in the boat they've all been uh replaced well pulled out and re-glued down um the other thing was rod holders they're all sort of aero hucked in place with no sealant underneath so this one and the matching other side they had a bit of corrosion starting the others weren't too bad but um i think the ones that get heavily used they were causing issues and uh weren't as hard wearing as what i thought so i've actually replaced the hucks with uh stainless fixings um I think that's the main part about the boat itself. Uh, I'll go, this video is going a bit sh shorter than what I thought it was, so I was going to do a few separates, but I'll just combine it all together. Uh, so, not really on the boat, but the outboard. Uh, obviously, you can see what brand it is. Um, took it in for a 20 hour service uh, after buying the thing, and. Uh, yeah, it was cactus, so they said that the oil filter was full of swarf, and um, yeah, they had to replace the power head, so uh, that was a bit more time that I was off the water, uh, unfortunately. Um, so far, so good. Um, got a hundred and something hours on it now, uh, no dramas with it, so... I don't know if that was a one-off, but um, I would have liked a new motor personally, but they decided that uh, Powerhead was going to be what they could do at the time. Um, I'm walking past, I'll show you these press studs I was on about. So I've got a few of them in the boat there, but uh, this is what I was uh, talking about. So I um, end up putting this, a milled down alley washer in there with some Tef gel and some... Uh, nylon washer and all that but uh yeah it wasn't a good uh, sort of practice um just putting them on the bare alley we had some dramas going on track playing on keeping the thing uh the other thing so now sort of going on to the trailer uh the the trailer winch um that's all covered up but that that sort of uh, lost its shit in the first first uh, 10 times I used it so that that got replaced um, by the manufacturer new one haven't had a drum we've sort of beefed it up a bit um, had a, a trailer roller bracket crack out uh, where the fixings are I think it might have even been this one um, that that cracked out so that got replaced by the uh, by the mechanic up here and um, no drama since um other thing was was funny now but it wasn't funny at the time was the the trailer um, pin plug that I actually, actually when i picked the boat up shorted out my car and um had no lights no nothing and uh yeah on the side road for a few hours dropping all my favorite words so um something to be careful of um make sure all your lights work and stuff when you're picking up your new boat um 
also yeah, sort of drove it from outside the dealer got got to my destination for the night and um yeah all the wheel nuts were bloody pretty loose so i had up going around tightening all those up and uh yeah no drama since uh also aired up for a long trip and um found that one side the pressures were uh 15 psi different so uh, another thing worth checking um there's a fair few checks you should do before you go on any long trips anywhere with a trailer but uh that can be maybe another video uh what else was there trail bracket trail plug trail nuts trail pressure yeah that's that's all the um the major issues i've had with the boat um since i've got them ironed out pretty happy with it sort of wish was thinking buying a new boat you wouldn't get these issues but uh old new I, I just don't think you can get past them uh but yeah just um just uh explaining here to you the um problems i've had and uh maybe that you can look out for and try and fix um and while i'm here yeah, that's the sort of insulators i put behind the uh, transducers there and nylon washers and all that sort of jazz um yeah i use that many different uh, stainless fixings and stuff to and nylocks and all sorts to um fix the boat up so uh i wasn't making videos at that time so unfortunately don't have any footage of that but all my new videos i'll sort of go over that sort of stuff but yeah uh if you like the uh, video make sure you subscribe and like and all that sort of jazz and much appreciated i'll keep uh trying to put out this sort of stuff